Again, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming from a little guy worldwide. This is an extreme outdoor company now, up here in Somerset, PA. Excited to be here, have a little bit of information. Gonna try to give you just a tad bit of information about what is happening with little guy and where they're gonna be going. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please do uh, hit that subscribe button down below. I've got lots of things on my channel, uh, how-to videos and so forth. If there's something in particular you'd like me to uh, do a, a preview or tour or explanation, by all means, reach out to me and I'll see I, what I can do for you. For those of you that are returning to my channel, I do appreciate it, appreciate the support. And the reason why I came out here to little guy, I wanted to kind of get a feel for where they are, where they're going to be going. So I had the opportunity to meet with new plant manager and production manager here, Jeremy and uh, Leo, and we kind of walked the plant to kind of see where things are currently, what they plan on doing differently. Now excited for where little guy is going to be going here in the very near future. As you can see behind me here, things have not ramped up yet. Again, they're trying to correct things with suppliers as well as, you know, the consumers and the dealer network before they get things ramped up and get going. So that's going to take a couple months, but I want you to stay tuned because we're going to have a lot more coming forth pertaining to what is happening here at Little Guy and what their plans are for the future. If you stay tuned, next week, I'm going to actually be sitting down with the owners here at Little Guy. And we're going to have a little intro to who they are and what they're about and what their vision is for the company. Now, one thing, one of my takeaways, I could say, from today's visit is that they truly are looking to move forward and correct the issues that they've had in the past with not only their customers, but with their vendors as well as the dealers. And so they're moving forward, I think in a systematic way to make sure that they do get those things taken care of. The last thing you want them to do is to do it haphazardly, do it quickly and not really address the issues and problems that they've had in the past. They have some great ideas as far as how they're gonna move forward. They brought in some new people, as I'd mentioned, Leo's one of, the, one of the ones they brought in, but they're looking at things from the consumer's standpoint and trying to truly wrap their arms around what's been happening and correcting those circumstances or those issues. Now, for those of you out there that may have been considering a Little Guy Max or a Mini Max, I want to assure you and I'm sure I'll have the owners reassuring you next week that they're here to stand behind their product. And I think that's one of the major things with this small company is the fact that how well they do stand behind their product. Um, they bend over backwards uh, with their product in my opinion. And I'll tell you, that's something uh, to be happy about, something to be glad because not all companies are that understanding and care as much as they do. Um, with with the, being a smaller company, it's more on a personal level, and I believe you're going to get that personal atten attention. So um, if you are considering a little guy still, or a little guy Max, uh, the Camp Rover, or the Mini Max, by all means, don't hesitate to pull that trigger on it. So part of my meeting with them today. We just sat down and kind of talked about things. And it would be helpful for you, those of you that are out there currently in your little guy maxes and your mini maxes, to go ahead and give some feedback. They're willing to listen to make those corrections and try to move this company forward in a positive direction. So please do feel, out, feel free to reach out to me or reach out to some of the uh, some of the people maybe that are the ambassadors, Russ and Carrie, uh, maybe Janine Pettit as well,
to give them some feedback, if you haven't already, on what you would uh, recommend as far as changes moving forward or things that they could do to improve their product. Uh, these are some of the discussions I've had with them today. Gave them some insight on some feedback that I've had from some of my customers. And really excited about where this company can go. Uh, you know, it's, it's always easier, you know, to kick a guy when he's down. A uh, little guy has been down uh, for the past few months, but I think they're on their way back up and it's going to be exciting to see where they take things. So do stay tuned as we move forward and we'll be bringing you more additional information pertaining to where this company's going, the changes they're going to implement, and what kind of product you can expect. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is just kind of a teaser to what's coming forward with Little Guy here up in Somerset, PA. I do appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, by all means, do put them down below. And do stay tuned, because next week, I'm going to have a video up where so we're going to do a little interview with the owners here and give you actual concrete information about this company. They are coming back, and they're going to come back stronger than ever. So do stay tuned. I appreciate you watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'm going to come back at you again soon. Take care.